hello guys and welcome so in this video we are going to extend Django user model using abstract base user I have explained four methods how to extend user model on this blog which is on my website studygan.com links will be in description in the previous video I have explained how to extend user model using one-to-one -one link now in this video we are going to extend user model using a custom model extending abstract base user so what is abstract base user it totally creates a new user model that inherits the existing user model okay so when should we use custom user model extracting extending abstract base user let's take a scenario like in the default Django user model we have to log in using username now we want to create a model that uses email as login so so we can create such user model using abstract base user so let's move to the instructions before heading up to the code I want to show you that I have created a freshly Django project with the name Django underscore example so now what we'll do we'll create a app named core okay so we'll create a app django admin start app core okay so we have created the core app now we can add all these abstract base user model codes in that so first we'll copy this code to core and in that model okay okay save this one now we need to create a managers app so in core app we need to create a file named managers dot py okay then we need to copy this code okay paste now we have done with our actual coding so let's explain you what is in this code we have created email username field as email so this is the way which we are telling the Django user model that username is actually email then verbose name get full name these are the functions okay so using this functions we can get the full name short name okay and we have added the join of the R which were not in user model now in user manager we have created user create user and create super user so these commands will be helpful in terminal and when we are creating users so now what we have to do we have to first register this app okay so we have not registered the app so we'll go to Django example and in that setting okay now we need to register the app so the app name is core then we need to extend the user model so we can copy this code and tell Django that we are having a user auth model with the name core dot user okay save this one if you see this user class name is user and here the user so we have done with our code now we need to do one important step so first we'll migrate okay so python manage dot py make migrations so this will create our migrations okay so we are getting one error for image field which uh, because we have not installed pillow 
so first we'll install pillow pip install pillow okay p is capital yes now we'll not get that error so we'll python manage.py make migrations hit enter so a migration has been created now what we have to do we have to migrate so python manage.py migrate and hit enter so these all fields will be migrated to our database so now what we'll do we'll create a super user okay so python manage dot py create super user okay now it will ask for email address so we'll give it as admin at the rate example dot com password so now we have created the super user now we'll run the server and we'll go to the browser and here local host 8000 port admin before heading up I want to show you that I have done one changes here because using this field we can log in in Django admin okay now we'll go to the website localhost 8000 admin now we need to log in so here it is asking for email note instead of username okay now we'll log in so hooray we have already logged in in our database so in Django administration we are not able to see the core app so we can do one thing in core app in admins we can register the app so first we'll import the user class so from core dot models import user okay then admin dot site dot register and the app name class name okay save now let's refresh this and here we can see the users app and in this user app we can see the different fields password username email first name last name and etc we can create user from here also avatar we are able to see the avatar also here I have explained how to reference your user model in your classes so we can extend previously we were able to do like this okay we are extending the we are importing the user and then we are using it in the classes but we can also do similar we can do with this method also or we can do with this method where we are importing the settings and in that setting dot ought user because we have registered here okay so that's it was in this video if you like my video give a like comment below and motivate me thanks for watching bye bye